I'm Pat Bates, and this is Living on LOP. LOP is loss of privileges for misconduct side of prison. The lessons from prisons learned during isolation can be applied today, as well as move forward in your lives. This episode features yours truly, Pat Bates, and I'm here to talk to you about not letting anything stop you. It's a long way I'm proud of you, man. Yeah, I'm trying, man. I'm trying to do the right thing. Poor emotion moving, man. That's all we got, bro. All the pieces are coming together, bro. They all come together. I'm Pat Bates, a research assistant with University of Michigan's Carcel State Project. I'm also the creator and host of Living on LOP, What I Learned in Prison, and I served 17 years inside the Michigan Department of Corrections. So when I went to prison, and even all my life, I never let anything stop me. Like prison, it slowed me down, but it didn't stop me. What I had to do was put a little hard on everything and figure out how I was gonna move forward. So when I went to solitaire, I was really stripped of nothing. Like we know when you come to prison, you're stripped of everything. You don't have family, you don't have anything else, but you really are in a small cell we call it the box, segregation, they call it the hole, they call it the box. Either one fits it perfectly because you're in a box, you can't get out, you're stuck, and then you're mentally in a hole. Like you mentally, you have nothing but, but some walls to stare at. But I still n knew that I was getting beat down, but I'm like, I'm not gonna let this take my, I'm not gonna let this take my mind. Like I'm not ever gonna let anything beat me so no matter what happens, right now I'm in here in the box, but sooner or later I'm gonna get out and I'm gonna figure out how to get out and I'm gonna figure out what I can do while I'm in here, while I'm in this box to be productive. Um, no matter how overwhelming that circumstances is, no matter how much of a beast it is, you can't let it overwhelm you. Like I was in the hole isolated, bro. It was one of the most horrible experiences you go through. You completely isolated. You sitting in segregation with nothing. But I didn't let none of that get the best of me. Like I took ownership of everything that was going on in my life. Even in prison, I took ownership of that. Like I made sure that like no matter how hard I'm being stepped on or how oppressed I may feel, I still can't let it hurt me. I can't let it actually hurt me. Even in that situation where I was like completely on the bottom of the world, I made sure that every opportunity, every advantage I had, I took heed to it and used it. I'm talking about whether it was an extra tray, I'm going to get that extra tray. Whether it was an event that I could possibly win, I'm gonna go win that one. Whether it was a class that would teach me more, more things about bettering myself, I took advantage of that. If you stop, right, if you stop moving and you stop, you know, like trying in life, or let something like isolation detour you. I mean, whatever was up against you won. You just, now you just exist and you're waiting to die. This whole isolation to me is a horrible thing because people are letting it get the best of them instead of taking advantage of it. I was isolated for, for, for my whole adult life. As a child, I went in there. I was in there my whole adult life inside of prison. Isolated, stricken to humanity, stricken to everything I had. Real shit. Now, I'm home, isolated again, so to speak. I'm still gonna, I'm still gonna, I'm still gonna overcome that, just like I overcame prison. Period. That's it. That's all. I'm, I'm gonna overcome any circumstances that I have any obstacles, I'm gonna, I'm gonna win at all costs. No matter what restraints you put on me. They took, they put me in prison. They, they, bro, they put, they put me in prison and I still came out on top. I came out sitting here with you making a YouTube series. I'm giving voice to those same oppressed people, the same formerly incarcerated people. I'm giving voice to them through living on LOP, because that's what I wanted to do. And I had a whole lot of struggle, but I still did it. I did exactly what I put my mind to. Like the mind is, the mind, bro, is, is magic, like for real. 
If you actually put something in the air and actually build on it, everything started with a thought, so you keep building on it, keep building on it, and then don't never let nothing get in the way of that. Nothing. Whether it's, whether it's being isolated in a prison, where it's being beat, beat down, whether it's somebody, you know, in your way, either move around them or knock them down. If there's a fence right here, jump over it, crawl under it, slip through the side, unlock it, break it down. However it is, whatever tactic you need to go on to defeat that, that's what you do. All that mentality, things started just falling away into place with that mentality. Things started just coming right to me. I kept telling myself I want to win. I kept telling myself I want to win. I kept telling myself I'm going to be successful. And I kept searching out ways to do it. And those ways would find me because I was looking for those ways. They would come right back to me. If you have a persistent mindset, you will make it all the way through. You got to keep, you got to look for ways. You'll find a way. My advice to people in isolation today is not to get discouraged by anything. To make sure that you know that you can survive no matter what the circumstances be, is. Nothing can, nothing can defeat you, bro, nothing. If you actually put your mind to whatever restraint you have, it's gonna be a harder fight, but you still can succeed at any type of circumstance. I never thought I'd come this far, man.